Kim here, homeschooling mom to four and chaos coordinator since 2009. This video is letting you know what we do for science. And so um, I've been through a few curriculums. It was really hard for me to find one I wanted. <laughs> I searched high and low for this. I needed a curriculum that was very much hands off for me. I personally did not have good experiences with science. And so I've been trying very hard not to impart that frustration onto my children. I wanted it hands off in the sense that they could do a lot of the exploration themselves. Um, I also, they love books. So I wanted a book based curriculum, but I did want them to be hands on. So I wanted to be away from it, but I wanted them to be hands on. And this curriculum, we've done it two years in a row now. Love it. Um, we went through two and a half other curriculums long story, but basically I'm going to show you what we have. This company, it's Elemental Science, and they have a few different curriculums on their website. And what I love is that it's great for multiple ages, multiple grades at once. I'm not teaching the exact same thing, but they're all on the same playing field. So this year it's chemistry and I have everything about the periodic table all over the place and it applied to all of them. Like for example, we're doing chemistry. So this is chemistry for the logic stage. This is my seventh grader. And then here, and then this is chemistry for the grammar stage. This would be for my second grader. And each one has some vocabulary. Um, for the younger ones, they write in their own words what something means. And then over here, they have definitions. They can look it up, put it in their own words, but it's supposed to be more formal setting. Each one has, there's a, either a demonstration or an experiment for every single chapter. And sometimes it's really simple Simple, but it's it's just incredible how easy it is. This is they rely heavily on Janice Van Cleve's um, experiments. If you've never heard of her, amazing, very old. And here's a picture of her when she first published it. It's still so applicable and so so easy. And as an adult, you think, oh, I don't need to do that. It's so simple. But for kids, it's fascinating. Something as simple as taking a, a plastic bag, filling it up with air, and asking them what's inside it. And they were like, oh, oh, it's air. And I'm like, yeah, well, try to push it. Can you push it? No. It's, why is that? It's called air pressure. You know, the molecules inside. That's what's stopping it from closing. Anyway, it's fascinating. Little things like that. But it's very much they do this stuff themselves. My 12-year-old is to the point where I can just leave out the materials that she'll need. And she does it. That leads me to the next thing that I love about this company is you can buy the materials. <laughs> so this would be chemistry for the grammar stage. So this one is all the materials you need for 90% of the materials you need for their experiments. And it comes with a sheet that tells you what week you'll use it on, how many you'll use that week. Fabulous. There was this one time I had been so in the habit of trying to find my own supplies that I was trying to find an iron nail. I couldn't find an iron nail. How do I tell something's iron? And then I was like, oh, duh, it's probably in the kit. And I went over there. Sure enough, there it was. Even the six pennies I needed. So they had six shiny new pennies in there that I was able to use. I didn't have to look for them. My only uh, complaint about this company right now, and it's something they could easily fix, is that on their website, when you purchase their stuff, you can buy all of their curriculum, their box, everything like that. But then when you get them in the book itself, it says, what books you need for this curriculum. So you're like, great, now I have to order those as well. <laughs> so I wish they had a list of other books that are required for that year. But upside, a lot of the books are years, year, year to year. So like here's a King's Fisher Science Encyclopedia. It, we've used it two years in a row now. They used it last year and this year. And then this one, the Osborne Science Encyclopedia. So that's the other thing that we've had for two years in a row. But then there's new books that you have to buy. Um, and thrift books is very handy with that. Uh, finally, one more note is that it they have a lot of things in here. We don't use all of them. So they have like a timeline thing. So And they have weekly memorization. Last year I didn't do it. This year I am because it's the periodic table. And I want my seven year old, right, seventh grader to know if they, she sees um, a number from the periodic table. She'll know the most common ones at least. So I'm gonna have her memorize it. I have lots of visuals around. She's a very visual kid. Um, I bought some extra things for her. But there's memory work, so we don't usually do the memory work. That's the whole point of homeschooling is you can do everything you want as you want it as it applies to your kid. So if your kid is interested in history, that would be a way to get them involved in this because there's a timeline. I find it fascinating to know what was going on in the world all over the place but it just doesn't do it for her. So I don't have her do that part of it. I absolutely love this curriculum. We'll be sticking through it and with it. And what I like is seeing what they do in the younger grade and I can see what they're doing in the older. So I know 
what she's going to have when she gets older and it cycles the material over and over again and it goes a little bit deeper. So even though she may not memorize everything when she's younger, she'll eventually get it when she's older. And what I also love is I think there's even three levels. It's the grammar, logic, and rhetoric. That's the next one, rhetoric stage. So really awesome. If you know what the well-trained mind, it's one of their top recommendations. And then Kathy Duffy. I go, anytime I was looking for curriculums in the past, I always go, always go to her website to see. That's a really awesome website with resources. I'll link that down below. So that's how I found this. Took three years to find it. And it's what I'm sticking to. I'm not going to go into other science curriculums so much. Um, there are a lot of God-based ones, which is totally fine. We do lots of other things everywhere. We always talk about God and his creation and, and incorporating it into everything we know. I don't feel like it's necessary to have biblical references in my science book because everything we do in our life is revolved around God. So we're always, we are always swimming in God's world. So I don't need to say it pointed out at all times. It's just kind of steeped in our life right now. So they just have the general understanding that this is an explanation of God's world. Um, and if they have questions, we do talk about them. Please remember, it's okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless.